calendar. Now, uh, first uh, we'll discuss main points. As you know, students, in one week we have seven days. One week, seven days. It's not from Monday to Tuesday, but these are all seven days. In one week, we have seven days. And in a year, we have 12 months. One year is 12 months. In one week, we have seven days. And one, in a year, we have 12 months. January, February, March, up to December. These are 12 months, as you know earlier. Okay. Now, yes, friends, in these uh, months, few months has uh, about 30 days and few months have 31 days. Now, how we can find which month is having a month and which is 30, first 31 days? For this month, the easiest method is we just found like, like this. As you will see, this is the upper space and this is the lower. Now start counting from here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. The upper part, this, this part is the month having upper part, like January. January. This month have a, uh, 31 days. And second is lower part, this one down January, February. In February, students, uh, we have 28 or 29 days. Okay. Next is January, February, March. Again, upper part. March having 31 days. April, 30 days. January, February, March, April, mm -hmm. then May. Again, May have 31 days. We can uh, find like this. The upper part having 31 days and the lower one is 30 days. Only February month, February month having a 28 or 29 days. Now, which year we have 28 days and uh, which have 29 days? In a leap year. In leap year, in February, we have 29 days. Okay. In an ordinary year, in uh, the month, Feb month February, have 28 days. Eight days. Yes, friends. For this, we can count January, upper part, that is 31 days. February, in ordinary year, when year is in ordinary year, in month February, we have 28 days, and in a leap year, we have 29 days. Okay? Then January, February, March, again, March, upper part, 31 days. April, 30, then May, 31. June 30, then July 31. Again, it starts from July after July, August 31 days, September 30 days, October 31 days, November 30 days, December 31 days. Yes, friends. Now, uh, number of days in an ordinary year and in a leap year. <laughs> yes, friends. In an ordinary year, in a year we have 365 and 1 upon 40. In ordinary year, we have 365, 1 upon 40. But in a leap year, we have 366 days. Yes, students. Now, what is century? A uh, year divided by 100 is known as century. The year uh, divided by, divisible by 100 is called a century. For uh, example, 1200, 1400, 2000. These years are fully divided by 100. So these years are known as century. Now, how we can find a uh, ordinary year and a new year? Yes, friends. A year which is divisible by four. The year which is divisible by four is a leap year. If the year is a century year, 
for for example our years 2 22 uh, 2200 then uh, it is divisible by 400 then we can say it is if it is fully divisible by 4 or 400 then we can say this is the mean i will explain this uh, this fact through few examples okay now students we are we are going to start exercise uh 68 yes friends exercise 68 your first question is <coughs> first question how many days are there in a leap year how many days are there in a leap year yes friends are uh, in uh, in an ordinary year we have 365 days but in a leap year we have 366 days okay so first question is how many days are there in a leap year so your answer is 366 days first question how many days are there in a leap year your answer is 366 Days. In a leap year, we have three hundred sixty-six days. Now, friends, uh, second question: How many days are there in an ordinary year? How many days are there in an ordinary year? and ordinary year we have 365 days full day la 365 days this first question and second is 365 first and second next is third question third question which ah uh, third question is which of the following are leap years yes friends to find the leap year we will divide the uh, year by 4 if it is fully divisible by 4 then you can say this year is a leap year okay third question which of the following are leap year first is 199 1990 The year is nineteen ninety. Yes, first of all, this is not a century year. So simply we will divide by four. One nine nine divide by four. This is the first. Can we have nineteen four four sixty? See nineteen minus sixty is three. Next number is nine. The solution is thirty-nine, and we are dividing by four. Four nine are thirty-six. In second step, we divide by nine. Thirty-six. Now thirty-nine minus thirty-six. See, our next digit is zero. Our 
Now we divide by 8, uh, 7. 7, 4 are 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Yes, students, when we divide 90, 90 by 4, we get the mental 2. So it means if the mental is non zero, if our mental is not zero, then we can say this number is not divisible by 4. So it means here 1990 is not a leap. So your answer is no. Answer is no. Clear students? Next is next is uh, one thousand nine hundred ninety-six. Now second part. Uh, second part is now check here one thousand nine hundred ninety-six. One thousand nine hundred ninety-six. It's a leap year. Again, since one thousand nine hundred ninety-six. Divide by four. First number is nineteen, and we are dividing by four. Four, four are sixteen. So in first step, we divide by four. Sixteen. Now nineteen minus sixteen. Nineteen minus sixteen is three, and next is this nine. Now we have 39 and we are dividing by 4. Now a 4, 9 are 36. 4, 9 are 36. Now since 39 minus 36, again 3. And next number is 6. Now 4, 9 are 36. 4, 9 are 36. So now you can see our remainder is 0. It means here 1996 is a linear. Clear students? Next is 1996. Now, 1998. Second part is 1998. Now, divide by 4. And check, uh, is it 1998 a leap year or an ordinary year? First, by 4, 39, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, 36, 39, Remainder is not zero. In uh, part B, our remainder is zero. If our remainder is zero, then we can say this here is divisible by four. If your remainder is non zero, now in second case, your remainder is two. It means here 1990 is not divisible by four. So condition is which is divisible by four. And can say this here is a leap year. Uh, this is not divisible by four, it means this is an ordinary year. Yes, this. <laughs> Next is 1987. 
one more example, 1,987. One thousand nine hundred. Now, since it is one thousand nine hundred eighty seven is the leap year for an ordinal year. Obviously, divide by four. First, two years minus sixteen. Nineteen minus sixteen. Three. Next is eight. Now, two years minus thirty six. Now thirty-eight minus thirty-six, and next is the seven. Now divide by six, twenty-four. Twenty-seven minus twenty-four is, and you can see our remainder is three. Remainder is three. It means. Year one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven is an ordinal year. Year one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven is an ordinal year. Yes, which next is two thousand. Now we have two thousand. As we know, two thousand is the strength thing, so it must be divisible by four hundred. First thing. Uh, is a century year, so must be divisible by four hundred. So by five. Again, the number is zero. It means two thousand is also linear. Yes, friends. Now, uh, next is uh, two thousand one hundred, two thousand one hundred four, and two thousand two hundred. Now, after this section, as friends, check these uh, check these three years: two thousand one hundred, two thousand one hundred four, and two thousand two hundred. So this is the third question. Next is. Question number four. Uh, four. This one has thirty days. Question number four. Name the months having thirty days. Question number four. Months having thirty days. Yes, friends. Name all the months having thirty days. First month is January. In January, we have thirty-one days. Next is February. In February, we have twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Next March. Again, March we have thirty-one days. So first month having thirty days is April. First month is April. Then next is May, and next is um, uh, in May we have thirty-one days. April. Then June. April June. Next is September. September and November. The month April, June, September and November are thirty days. 
distance again you can check like this january 31 february 28 march 31 april 30 may 31 june 30 Since you can count and uh, you can count and find which month having thirty day and which month having thirty one days. Clear, friends. Uh, next is question number five. Name the months having thirty one days. Name the months having thirty one days. Question number five. January, January. Next March, May. Next is uh, July, July and August. Month July and August both have forty one days. July, August, next is October and December. October and December. These months have been thirty-one days. Dear students. Next is question number six. In six question, we have two parts A and B. Question number six. Our sixth question: How many days are there in a Feb in a month February in a leap year? In a leap year, the month February having twenty nine days. Question number six: First, in a leap year. Leap year. Yes, friends. In a leap year, the month February have having twenty nine days. Twenty nine days. And uh, part B in an ordinary year. <coughs> part B is. Ordinary year. Distance. In an ordinary year, the month February having twenty eight days. So the answer is twenty eight days. Dear yes, students. Next is question number seven. <coughs> Sorry. Now seventh question is: In a certain year, on third December, it was Sunday. On third December, it was Sunday. On what other days of that month does Sunday fall? For this one, so we will clear out the rest. Catch of um, days of this week according to the days. We are going to start as what's next? Seven days Sunday. 
that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, last Sunday. Yes, friends. Now, according to your statement, uh, 3rd December was Sunday. So, right, uh, yeah. 3rd on Sunday. 3rd. Now, 3rd, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and what we have? So, next day, if 1st Sunday is on 3rd uh, December, then 2nd Sunday is on a now next after six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Now next plus six. Then we have seventeen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and next Sunday the seventeen. And next is seven plus six. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And yes, you can also find like this. I don't know. The first Sunday is on third. The third we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have six days. Now, seven days. Okay. I don't know in which we have seven days. So next seven number. Seventh number, we also discussed. Three plus seven is ten. Ten plus seven is seventeen. And seventeen plus seven is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus seven is. 30. So, like this, you can find that, uh, on which day the next Sunday fall. So, next Sunday is on uh, 10, 17, 24, and 31st this number. Dear students, next is question number nine. Now, next is uh, question number eight. If 2nd July was one day, what was the day on 22nd July? Same with pair this uh, table and find the day. Okay? Next is ninth question. How many days are there from 19th June to 7th July? Now, find the days from 19th June to 7th July. Yes, friends, your next question number ninth is How many days are there from 19 to 19 to 7 Yes, from 19 to uh, you know, in June we have 30 days. Okay, first we find number of days from 19 June 30 June. Number of days from 19 June to 30 June. Conference 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And 30. And uh, we have uh, 12 days from 19 to 30. 
Uh, start counting from 90. We have 12 minutes. 12. Start from 19 to 30. We have 12 days. And uh, from the number of days from 1st July to 2nd July. 1st July to 7th July. We have 7 days. 7 days. Now add so we just find one. So students from 19 to 7 July, we have 19 days. 19 days. Dear yes, friends. Next is question number 10. Now, students, find the number of days from 8th January 2014 to 3rd March 2014. First of all, students, 2014 is, a, is an ordinary year. It's not a leap year. So, in February, we count 28 days. Okay. Now found, find the number of days from 8th January 2014 to 3rd March 2014. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, ma'am, only five minutes are left. Um, okay, sir. After this question, I will... I will leave the lecture, okay? Okay. Now find the number of days from 8th January to 3rd March. 8th January. Thank you. Have a nice day. 